Hello and welcome. Well, the tulip block reproduction is finished. In general, I'm pleased with it. Um, there are some things that I would have done a little differently. Uh, however, in general, I am pleased with it. I decided to do uh, two blocks across and three blocks down. And I have the lattice strips with the cornerstones, which is how the original quilt was laid out because this was my interpretation of a vintage quilt that I have. Um, and what I've done is uh, the original pattern, there's a couple things I, I did differently. Uh, number one here, this section right here, where the stem is, this section right here, I had two pieces of muslin and I did a strip right down the middle that I pieced. So that this section right here is a separate background piece for the applique. Now, that's the one thing I would have done differently. Um, in the future, when I go to make this block, I'm going to cut out the entire background and I'm not going to piece the stem. I will applique the stem because I don't like this seam here. So in general, I'm pleased with it, but not with my decision to do the piecing on the stem. Uh, the other thing is, um, when I first started out, I reproduced the tulip pattern from the original quilt and I hand drew the pattern piece and I'll link the video to that under this one so that you can go back and watch it. The only thing that I did differently from the original pattern, once I started making this block, the tulips I felt were too tall and pointy. So I reconfigured the tulip pattern on each on the left and right petal so that they're a little bit wider and come out this way. And I'm really pleased with how that shape turned out. Um, so that's the other thing that I changed on the pattern. The other thing is the original pattern had two leaves and I decided to do one. Um, so I did, you know, change it up a little bit and sort of made it my interpretation. The lattice strips are 14 inches cut and the cornerstones are two and a quarter inches cut. So all in all, I'm very pleased with it. I will have a pattern available for you. There's going to be two patterns. There'll be a free download where you just get the tulip pattern pieces with the stem and the leaf. And then I'll have a full pattern available for sale where I give you all the yardage requirements, all the template pieces, and all of the instructions to create this quilt. Only I believe I'm doing a nine by nine uh, design on that. When those are ready, I'll make sure to post another video. Almost done with the pattern. I'm just tweaking a little bit, doing some editing and some cleaning up on it. So when that's available, I'll make sure to post another video. All in all, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. I will go ahead and link the original video where I hand draw the original pattern for you in case you want to go back and watch that. I'm Angela Davis and I'm the 4AM Quilter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time where I share, care, and create with you.